welcome back to another episode of October Showdown. In this episode, we're continuing work on our bathhouse building, uh, which will house our new Pepper's Ghost Illusion. So, let's get to it. Let's mount up. So, we had a little rainstorm last night, to say the least. Uh, man, Texas weather. It's been months of insanely hot temperatures and no rain and then boom let's make up for that and dump I don't even know how much rain uh, unfortunately our tent here uh, it's not looking so good it actually snapped all the supports on this side uh, early this morning I came out here and rescued all my tools because like, I had my, my saw my couple of saws in there and air tools and stuff so I had to run out here and try to ferry that all in before the whole thing I was worried the whole thing was going to, you know, collapse even more on all that. So, yeah, it's crazy. So this right here is always the grueling part. Uh, I'm taking a good number of these flats out into the yard and kind of moving them across. Got to take them from here all the way over there, 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 over there somewhere. Um, and they'll be. That's where we set up, of course, is. On the other side of that fence, um, so because our little work tent was trashed by that storm, what I'm going to do is um, try to take out a bunch of these flats, get them stacked uh, up on the other side of the yard, and that way they're over there for setup, and then um, that'll give me some room in here to keep the stuff out of the rain uh, when it does rain. So, but yeah, this is always the uh, rough part. It's just carrying all these guys uh, across the yard and you're sitting there wondering what you're doing spending your day hauling these things around. Hey guys, well that rain stuck around for a while and uh, kind of delayed us. Um, so it's now uh, like September 13th I think now. So, But finally the rain cleared out um, and we're able to get back to it and start working outside again. So we went ahead and relocated our bathhouse facade into a shadier part of our yard because it's just it's still very hot and humid out. Um, so we moved that over here uh, into this spot. We've got nice big pecan trees, so it's a lot more shade over here. And what we did is, um, since I pulled all the other flats out of the shed, this is the side of the uh, photo building, the photographer building. And so that makes up the inside walls of this bathhouse. So what we're going to do for our scene in here is we're going to go ahead and put some plywood on this to finish that off and what we're working on now is uh, building a frame uh, for our reflection now um, I looked I was looking online at how the best way to what you can do for these pepper ghost reflections and stuff and um, we were gonna get some well we did actually get some plexiglass uh, but you're you're kind of limited on your size and um, it's expensive so we got a smaller sheet and I just, I just think it's way too small. So when I looked online, I found that some people had used uh, window insulating film. Um, so if you're not familiar with this, it's basically like a plastic that you put around your windows and then you use like a hair dryer and it shrinks down uh, to get all the wrinkles out. And it works pretty well for that. So people have used this successfully um, for the Pepper's Ghost effect. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. So I'm building a frame just out of the one by three. Uh, that's seven feet tall, which is the height of these walls, and it will be eight feet long. All right, so here's the completed frame uh, that's going to hold that window film. Uh, all I did was just took four of those one by threes. Uh, we had a couple that I used. They were, the black ones are from an existing thing. I think I used them as bracing or something, and basically I mitered them in there, and then on the back side I just cut some plywood and put that on there, uh, glued it and stapled it. So it definitely uh, seems real solid uh, in this direction. I'm not totally sure, like you can see here, it's kind of bowing that way. So I'm wondering if maybe on the back side I need to add a, a board going this way to kind of stiffen it up. Um, we'll see, might need to do that. Um, but yeah, this is basically where it should be going in here approximately. Um, you know, this will be over more. We're gonna have to kind of, you know, obviously play around with it once we uh, have the film on there and look at the reflection and all that. But what we'll do is paint this whole thing.
flat black and then uh, get the window film on there. So I decided to just go ahead and add that extra framing on this. Uh, it was just bowing too much eh, in the center uh, without that. So I just boxed it in. Let me show you. So I basically just added this framing here, kind of like you would do on a regular wall flat. Uh, I was trying to save on the weight, um, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want to skimp out on that and then basically have it start bowing in the middle and then, you know, if it's bowed after the plastic's on there, then it's going to start, you know, uh, getting loose in the middle and then it would ruin the, ruin the illusion. So I figured better safe than sorry on this. So we want to add a little bit of height to this facade here. Um, so we are going to add an additional flat on the top. So I've got that going here. Um, it's just a basic half, I guess you would consider it a half flat now. Uh, the standard is a, a four by eight. This is a two by eight. Um, and I just built it like all the other ones. Um, just framed it out. And then I cut the um, plywood with my circular saw. Cut it in half basically to get it down to size. Um, and this guy will go right up there. Uh, this is these are two four foot flats, so that's eight foot right there, as far as width. And then it'll add an additional two feet. Uh, the next step on this will be to add some trim. Uh, I have this two by four uh, cedar board over here, and what I'm going to do is just rip this in half. Uh, that way, I could get a couple trim boards out of it. And then I think what I'll do is go ahead and put one across here and then uh, this will be the bottom where it interfaces right there um, so I'll add a piece of trim here other half of that's probably gonna go on the top and then what we'll do is we're gonna paint this or stain it or something like either paint it like a brown color or use the the vinegar um, the vinegar solution um, and then probably put like the vertical trim uh, like we have on some of our other buildings just to kind of keep it simple um, And it'll be work out really well because it'll add a little bit of uh, height to this building and make it a little bit uh, A little bit give it more presence um, The nice thing about that is what I didn't like last year is you know, Over there. That's the site of the uh, photo building. I didn't like that. You could see that um, and you know you obviously we could just paint that um, but by putting in a new flat on the top there um, That'll kind of hide that so we made another design decision uh, for this building here. Um, we want to make sure that this has a roof on the top. Uh, we want to keep this dark inside so that we can control our light because uh, that's going to make it easier to pull off a nice looking Pepper's Ghost effect. Um, so we talked about using a um, curtain or like a, we have those black, it's a, actually like a linen tablecloth that we use on some of our stuff. We talked about that. We talked about a tarp. What I don't like about those is uh, rain. Uh, they both will collect rainwater in here, you know, it likes to come down like mad, so, um, you know, it's hard, that can just cause problems where you're trying to support the tarp, but if it rains too much, it starts to, to go in. So we're just going to go ahead and just build um, a couple flats to use as a roof. So it'll just be, you know, two, two basic flats, and uh, we'll just attach them up on the ceiling, maybe add a little bit of slope on them to help with the rainwater, um, and then that'll keep it, keep the, the building dark. Uh, we are going to add two additional flats in the back here. Speaking of lighting, uh, we've been talking about how we're going to light up the skeleton uh, for the reflection. Um, in reality, he, the skeleton will be set up over there. Um, and we'll light him and hopefully, if all goes according to plan, he will look like he's sitting in the tub over there. Um, so we've been thinking about um, as I said, you know, this is the first time we're doing Pepper's Ghost. Uh, I've looked up some stuff online. Um, we're thinking maybe black light uh, would be a good option. Um, you know, we want kind of a ghostly look. You know, a lot of the, some of these I've seen people have done them with projections, which looks really cool. Uh, and we're going to kind of go the old school route. Um, I haven't done a test yet um, as far as how reactive this guy is under black light. Um, I've seen some stuff about UV paint. I've seen um, you know different options and it seems to be a lot of different products available some of them you know there's like theater paint which is very expensive but it sounds like it works pretty well I don't know if that's something that's worth investing in um, or not I've seen some UV paint on Amazon but you know it's just a small amount for for the cost so I'm not sure if that's um, worth it or not 
if anybody has experience with black light and UV paints, um, you know, we'd love to hear your your comments on that. So let us know and if you have, you know, what you've learned on that, um, that could help guide us on what we're trying to do. Once we get this frame here painted, uh, we'll go ahead and get that film on there and then we can kind of start testing things out um, and seeing what it looks like with just regular light, with black light, uh, and all that good stuff. I'm trying out a different format for October Showdown this year. Uh, when it first started, uh, it was basically a daily vlog series. Um, but now with four kids and work and everything else going on, it's just not feasible uh, to be making daily videos, um, you know, finding time to work on stuff that's interesting to show you, um, and then getting that edited out is just, it's just too difficult. So what I'm trying to do is kind of condense things down into longer episodes. Um, so I'm just kind of curious what you guys think about that. Let me know if uh, you like that, if you like shorter videos, longer videos. Um, and also, if there's things, you know, what do you want to see more of, uh, that kind of stuff, uh, let me know and, and we'll see what we can do. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here and are not a subscriber and want to see more videos of our progress as we set up our haunted western town and project videos about our Pepper's Ghost and other cool things, go ahead and click that subscribe button and you can follow along. See you next time.